Math 43, I had a question coming out of section 2.2, number 49, and I'm going to do this problem um, both on the, I'm going to show you the, the keystrokes for the regular calculator, and I'm going to flip over to the calculator app, at least the iPhone version at the end, so you can see how to do that. So the first thing they want us to do is get this equation in slope-intercept form, and slope-intercept form means I need y equals mx plus b. So there's a few ways you can do this, but in general, when I see, and I'm going to delete this, when I see a fraction like this and I want to get rid of it, I'm going to mul mul multiply both sides by the LCD or the least common denominator in that x. So I'm going to multiply this side by x and this side by x, and then what happens is these will cancel out, and on the left side I'm just going to get 200 minus 3y, which is what you see all the way down over here. And on the right side, I've got 70x. Okay, so again, let me erase this just so we can see what's happening moving forward. Once I'm here at this stage in the game, I want to solve for y. So you have a couple of options. I, I just see I'm going to move 200 to the other side. That's that's what I'm going to do. And then when I, and actually if I look at my work, I didn't quite do that. Um, that's one way of doing it. Let me go ahead and do that over here. So I could have had negative 30y equaling 70x minus 200. And if I look at what I did, I actually, and let me let me erase this to show you what I did on this work here, just to show you a different option. I actually moved the 30y over and the 70x over. So I added 30y to both sides, right? And then I subtracted 70x from both sides. And that's this way of doing it. We're going to get to the same answer. It's just a couple of different ways to do it. Okay, so if we're going with my, my way on this side here, the next thing I'm going to do is divide everything by negative 30. And keep in mind, I have to distribute that division by negative 30 to both parts of this binomial. Oops, the binomial on the numerator. And when I say binomial, I mean I have two terms. I have a 70x and I have a negative 200. All right, so as we go through this, we can see that the negative 30s are going to cancel out. I get um, 70x over negative 30, so that will be negative 7 thirds x. And then I have negative 200 over negative 30, so that will be a positive 20 thirds. And so you see my end game answer here, it's the same, same as this. I mean, that's the one thing I love about math. Math is math. You're, you'll get the same answer as long as you're using um, the correct laws. So here is my slope at negative 7 thirds, and there is my um, y-intercept. And then the next part of the direction said, plug this into your graphing calculator and adjust the window so that you can see the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept is 20 thirds, and that's a little bit less than 7, right? So if I write over here 20 thirds, um, actually, I won't even do approximate. This is, what, 6 and 2 thirds? So it's about 6.67. And the thing is, if you plug this into your calculator and you use zoom 6, now this is if you have the physical calculator. Oh, I can't use my words. So if you actually have a TI-84, not the app, or I should say TI-83-84, um, if you hit zoom 6, it, it gives you on the x's, your x values will go from negative 10 to 10, and your y values will go from negative 10 to 10. So that's what you see me plugging in here. I plug it into my y equals. And then I hit zoom 6. And when you hit zoom 6, like I said, you can see my x min and x max are negative 10 to 10. My y min and y max are negative 10 to 10. So quite literally, this is negative 10 here, positive 10 here, negative 10 here, positive 10 here. And I know I'll be able to see the y-intercept because the y-intercept is 6.67. And that's definitely in the span, right? between negative 10 to 10. And I can see it right there. There is my y-intercept. And that's why you see me saying, I don't need to adjust my zoom 6 window. The y-intercept is about 6.7. And when you use um, zoom 6, the defaults on the y um, axis are negative 10 to 10, which is large enough to see the y-intercept. Now I want to flip over to my calculator app here. And let's go ahead and plug this in. And if I remember, I think our equation was negative 7 thirds x plus 20 thirds. So I'm typing that in and I, I just hit this y equals button. You can see it on the very upper left and then immediately to the right of that is my graph button. And I know you can't see my fingers but I am going to hit graph here. And then in terms of your window it depends on where you've left your window. So the way I've left my window, I can see I already have my zoom 6. I can look on the x-axis, it goes from negative 10 to 10. And I can see on the y-axis, it also goes from negative 10 to 10. But if you, if you have a different window and you want to adjust, if you look on the app, on the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see the word zoom. So I'm going to hit zoom. 
And instead of these being numbered, one, two, three, four, five, six, they're, they're in words and you want to go to zoom standard. And so it is actually seven notches down. You can see the word Z standard. So count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And right between Z decimal and Z trig is the word Z standard. And, and that's where I'm going to hit my, um, my, or put my finger and then it will default to this. So let me, let me adjust this just so you can see it. Let me try zoom fit, right? Like that, you can see it messed with it. And if I want to go back to standard, there it is. And the cool thing with the app is if you actually push your finger and this is me, just, you can't see my finger, but I am literally just tracing out the, the green line there. You can see that that crosshairs, as I go through it, it'll kind of latch on not only to the X intercept there, but it'll latch on, wait for it, to the Y intercept. So that's one thing that I think is pretty cool about the app. But anyways, that's, that's how you do it on the app and that's how you do it on the regular calculator. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.